I tried out the most viral FPS boost tricks over on TikTok to see how much more FPS we can actually get. And to make this video interesting, I actually set up a $500 budget PC with a fresh version of Windows so we can test out the top five best tips all over on TikTok to see how much more FPS we can actually gain. But before we can hop into it, we of course have to benchmark real quick how much FPS we're getting on our stock PC. After setting up the PC and even getting a new keyboard to fully sweat and show who's the king, it was time to play Fortnite. I of course only changed the in-game settings to performance mode and got straight up in game. To measure the FPS in this video, we are going to take the highest value we can get in creative and combine it with 15 minutes of gameplay to check the average FPS. Without any sort of tweaks, my PC was very inconsistent guys. My FPS were dropping left and right with a ton of stutter and the game just really didn't feel smooth at all. So let's hope it's gonna be better after the first tweak. Okay guys, this video is almost 240,000 likes. Let's check it out. Press control, shift, mm -hmm. and escape. Click on the details tab. Find your game and okay. right click on it. Okay, Valorant of course. Yeah, we're gonna use it for Fortnite. Windows and R okay, high priority. First one. Config. Click on boot, then click on advanced options. Mm -hmm. the number of processors and choose the highest option. Right click on your task Okay, bar, selecting all the frets. Manager. Go to startup apps and then click on all the apps you don't use when your PC starts up and hit disable. Mm -hmm. So after successfully applying all the tweaks, my FPS should definitely become better, right? Nope. What the hell? It actually became a lot worse and I don't have a clue how this even could happen because this tweak had so many likes over on TikTok. I lost so much FPS on average and got so much more stutter that the game was literally unplayable. But I don't understand how did I actually hit the nastiest clips on this? Like I don't even hit this usually on 700 FPS. Is low FPS maybe just the mindset? Is it a skill issue? Jokes aside, I instantly reverted that shit. Okay guys, the next one. How to reduce input delay and boost your FPS. Let's see. Okay, he's on his desktop right now. On your desktop, head over. Okay, head over to settings. Mm hmm What is he then, then doing? Go to ease of access. Okay, then go to easy access. Okay. Scroll down and disable these three. Okay, options. show animations on Windows, show transparency, and automatically hide scroll something. Okay, let's let's actually copy this. This tweak will definitely boost my FPS now, right? Not really. I mean, creative felt smooth, don't get me wrong there, but I've still got tons of stutter, even though it got a little bit more playable, I must admit. Which is more likely due to me reverting the last tweak, I think. So in terms of FPS, the game hasn't really improved. If you ask a hundred millionaires how they made money, you're gonna get a hundred different answers. Elon Musk. Okay, guys, this is a viral clip from tens actually which got re-uploaded here and got 300,000 likes compatibility disable full screen okay DPI, all right high dpi right got that as well afterwards i go into graphic settings mm -hmm. you turn on hardware accelerated gps okay GPU hardware accelerated scheduling. gpu acceleration actually turn then it on you go over to valorant is installed okay then he's finding his game Computer basically game, binaries here. putting it in the game mode okay high performance. high performance i cannot believe it guys after playing the tweaks my stutter was actually fully gone i've hit my high highest FPS in the battle bus, there was no more lag while gliding in and I was able to even go for clips. Hence single-handedly fixed my FPS drops and helped me to reach new heights with this PC. After doing some research, especially the game mode is designed to help your PC to focus all of its resources towards the game which you are playing. And to give you an even better example of how important this is, I'm going to show you how much FPS you are losing when just Razer Cortex is running in the background. Do you see how much FPS I'm losing? And this is just the software to control your RGB. So you Using this mode gave me a huge improvement and we can definitely put it on the list of good tweaks. So next up guys, we're searching for the best search resolution and I actually found this video here with 12,000 likes. And it says best low-end PC resolution 936 times 648. So some people down below in the comments say that it works, some say that it don't, so therefore let's test it out. After applying the stretch resolution and also changing my monitor res, I actually did get my highest average FPS so far. But at what cost? In my first game, I was shooting at objects because they looked like enemies. Don't get me wrong, the game definitely felt the smoothest out of all previous tweaks, but it also looked so much worse. So unless you have absolutely no other choice, Choice, I can't really say that I would recommend playing on this, but again, on paper it's working. We got the FPS boost. Okay guys, the next one is already promising. How to get 260 FPS on a low end PC. Press Windows key and type PowerShell to run it as an administrator. Paste this text and I will put it in the comments. Now search for choose power plan. 
and select ultimate performance. So I copied the tutorial and here once again I have to say my game ran a lot smoother and I didn't get a single stutter while fighting. It didn't necessarily boost my FPS but it just made my game overall a lot more stable. The ultimate performance mode basically unlocks the full potential of your CPU and GPU by reducing power saving features, allowing them to run at higher speeds giving you much higher and as mentioned more consistent FPS in Fortnite. Therefore this is one of the most underrated steps which is super easy to actually apply. But you know what's also underrated? Fixing your lag with the free 7 day trial version of no ping, your number one client to reduce your ping in every single game you guys want to play. Let's say you want to play Fortnite, you just search it up, select it and no ping is going to give you an overview of all of the best servers available in your near. And the coolest part is it works on multiple regions. So if you like to play cash cap on a different region, it can still help you to get the best server. So just select the server you want to use, click on to optimize this game and no ping is going to automatically help you to get the best connection possible. Additionally, they also feature some FPS boost features and they are all tested tweaks which are going to help you to improve your system speed. Make sure to check out no ping with the link in the video description.